Ah, bonjour, ça va? Welcome back to Coffee Break French. Today we are ordering coffees, finally, in Coffee Break French. You'll learn the phrase, je voudrais, I would like. So, je voudrais, un café, I would like, a coffee. And you'll be learning lots more besides that. Alors, j'espère que vous aimez cette leçon. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Okay, so imagine the situation. You're perhaps sightseeing in Paris and you're wandering around the, the streets of Montmartre and you decide that you want to take the weight off your feet for a little while to perhaps find out where you're going to be going next in your tourist trail. So you decide to go to a little cafe and order perhaps a coffee. Now, you could point to something in the menu. You probably could even see it in English because there's a good chance that you would be understood but it's much better to try saying whatever it is you want in French and we're going to begin today by learning the words in French for a number of things that you might want to ask for in a café. Now the word café is an interesting word because we use the word café in English to refer to a place where you can buy drinks and sometimes snacks as well and in fact the word café, un café, in French, really means a coffee. It's also the word used for a café too. So, un café, dans un café, would be a coffee in a café. Un café dans un café. Très bien. Now, we're going to be talking a little more about un café. The word for coffee, le café. Le café. And learning a few alternatives to this. If you ask for un café in French, then you would probably get a small black coffee. Un café. Un café. However, if you wanted a coffee with milk in it, you would ask for un café au lait. Un café au lait. Lait. Okay, now lait, le lait is the word for milk. Le lait. Le lait. Un café au lait. Un café au lait. Is the word for a milky coffee, a, a white coffee really. A coffee with milk. Un café au lait. Un café au lait. Okay, now you might, as an alternative, want to ask for un Café crème. Un café crème. Anna, what do you think that might be? Um, coffee with cream in it. Yeah, it's a coffee with cream in it and it tends to be perhaps a little whiter, if you like, than a café au lait. A café au lait can, can be just a spot of milk in it, but a café crème would be a little whiter and it would obviously have cream in it. A café crème. Un café crème. And again, if you ask for un café crème, then the chances are you would get a small black coffee with some cream, either already in it or on the side that you can put into the coffee yourself. Un café crème. Un café crème. If you wanted a coffee that's, let's say, a little more like what we would ask for a white coffee in, in the UK, a white coffee would be a, a larger coffee. You could ask for Un grand crème. Un grand crème. And if you ask for un grand crème, you would get a larger cup uh, with more coffee and indeed more cream. Un grand crème. Un grand crème. So let's go through our four coffee options to begin with. Un café. Un café. Un café au lait. Un café au lait. Un café crème. Un café crème. Un grand crème. Un grand crème. Now, for those coffee lovers among you, I'm going to mention two other things. One is an allongé. Allongé. Un allongé. And exactly the same thing with a slightly different word. Un rallongé. Un rallongé. Now, this is the small black coffee in a larger cup with more water in it. 
Now, I think that means then that what we're talking about is a kind of Americano coffee, or in Australia, I think this would be called a long black coffee. Un allongé. Un allongé. Or un rallongé. Un rallongé. Now, it just really depends which part of France and indeed the French-speaking world that you're in to know whether it's an allongé or a rallongé. Okay, enough about coffee. Let's think about something else. You might want a cup of tea. So, a tea is un thé. Un thé. Un thé. Un thé. Now, if un café au lait is a coffee with milk in it, how would you ask for a tea with milk in it? Would it be un thé au lait? Tout à fait, un thé au lait. Un thé au lait. Okay, so a white tea, a tea with milk. Now, another thing that's quite popular in France is un thé au citron. Un thé au citron. Now, what do you think citron is, le citron? I think it is lemon. It is lemon because it's obviously linked to citrus, the, the word citrus in English. Citron is lemon, so a tea with lemon. Un thé au citron. Un thé au citron. Okay, now something that is very common in France would be un chocolat. Un chocolat. Un chocolat. Un chocolat. Now, if you asked in a in a coffee shop or in a, in a cafe for un chocolat, what do you think you would be asking for? A uh, hot chocolate. A hot chocolate, yeah. You could say un chocolat chaud, but it's fairly obvious that you're asking for a hot chocolate when you ask for un chocolat. Un chocolat. Now, you might alternatively want something cold and maybe uh, some kind of juice, for example. The word for juice in French is... Un jus. Un jus. Okay, so make sure you've got that nice U sound. Un jus. Un jus. Uh -huh. So you could ask for un jus d'orange. Un jus d'orange. Un jus d'orange. Un jus d'orange. And that would be an orange juice, like a fresh orange juice. Or maybe un jus d'ananas. Un jus d'ananas. Un jus d'ananas. Or indeed, un jus d'ananas. You can say it without the S sound on the end. That would be a pineapple juice. Un jus d'ananas. Un jus d'ananas. Or un jus d'ananas. Un jus d'ananas. Okay. Something else that you might want in, in France would be un jus de pomme. Un jus de pomme. Un jus de pomme. Un jus de pomme. Any ideas as to what pomme might be? Um, no. Pomme is apple. Un jus de pomme. Un jus de pomme. Or you might want something fizzy. For example, you could have une limonade. Une limonade. Une limonade. Une limonade. Now, have you noticed that that's the first feminine thing that we've had so far? It's been un café, un thé, un jus, but une limonade. Une limonade. Now, another feminine thing is water. The word for water in French is eau. Eau. It's spelled E-A-U. Eau. Eau. And to say some water, you would say... De l'eau. De l'eau. That might sound a bit strange that the word for water is eau and then some water is de l'eau. But it's D-E and then L apostrophe. De l'eau. De l'eau. And if you ask for de l'eau, then you may be asked, would you like de l'eau plate ou gazeuse? Plate? Ou gazeuse. Oui. Gazeuse sounds quite like the English word gas, gassy or gaseous. So it means... Fizzy. Fizzy, yes. Yeah, sparkling water. De l'eau gazeuse. De l'eau gazeuse. So what do you think de l'eau plate would be? 
It sounds a bit like flat. Yeah, it's actually flat water, still water, okay? De l'eau plate. De l'eau plate. Now, I have to be honest, in France, you're probably more likely to either ask for or indeed be offered, for example, un vitel, un évian, or indeed un perrier, using the, the, the brand names of the water. But because we're not allowed to mention any particular brand names on here, we'll just stick to de l'eau plate. Or de l'eau gazeuse. De l'eau plate, de l'eau gazeuse. Okay, that's quite a lot of vocabulary that we've covered so far. Let's run through it together. First of all, a coffee. Anna, can you remember what a coffee was? A café. A café. What about a white coffee, a coffee with milk? A café au lait. A café au lait. And what about a, a coffee with cream? Un café crème. Un café crème. Can you remember how to ask for the large coffee with cream? Un grand crème. Un grand crème. Oui, c'est ça. Okay, now what about... Oh, I wonder if you can remember the words for um, the Americano coffee. <laughs> no, I forgot. <laughs> okay, that was un allongé. Un allongé. It literally means stretched out. The the verb allonger or s'allonger means to stretch yourself out. For example, when you're sunbathing, you stretch yourself out. And that's really what they're doing with the coffee. They're stretching out the flavour of the coffee by adding more water into it. An allongé. Un allongé. Or un rallongé. Un rallongé. Okay, both of these are black coffees. But they're obviously that bit bigger than a café. What about just asking for a tea? A tea. A tea. And a tea with milk? A tea au lait. A tea au lait. A tea with lemon? Um, a tea au citron. A tea au citron. Okay, then we went on to talk about juices. An orange juice? Un jus. Okay, that's a, a juice. An orange juice would oh, be... Oh, sorry. Un jus d'orange. Un jus d'orange, très bien. What about a pineapple juice? Un jus d'ananas. Un jus d'ananas, ou bien un jus d'ananas. Okay, both work there. And then we had the word for, or the, the, the phrase for, some water. De l'eau. De l'eau, de l'eau. And still water would be de l'eau... Plat. Plate. Plat. De l'eau plate. De l'eau plate. And uh, fizzy or sparkling water. De l'eau... Gazeuse. Gazeuse. Très bien. De l'eau gazeuse. De l'eau gazeuse. Okay. Now, there's a kind of group of drinks that we've not really covered so far. And indeed, some of these drinks are the drinks that France is most famous for. And of obviously other French-speaking areas of the world too. For example, a beer... Une bière. Une bière. Une bière. Une bière. Okay. And also, we might have, for example, a, a glass of wine. Un verre de vin. Un verre de vin. 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 Le vin is wine. Le vin. Le vin. Uh, it sounds exactly the same as the word for 20, vin. Vin. But it's spelt differently. It's V-I-N, le vin. Le vin. So a glass of was un verre de... Vin. Un verre de vin. Okay, a glass of wine, un verre de vin. Un verre de vin. Now, you might want to be specific about the type of wine you want, at least the colour of wine you want. You might want to ask for un verre de vin rouge. Un verre de vin rouge. Un verre de vin rouge would be? A glass of red wine. A glass of red wine. Le vin rouge. Le vin rouge. Comme par exemple le, le Bordeaux. Le Bordeaux. Le Beaujolais. Le Beaujolais. Le Merlot. Le Merlot. And so on. Lots of French red wines. Le Vin Rouge. Le Vin Rouge. 
Or you may want un verre de vin blanc. 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 A glass of white wine. Le vin blanc. Le vin blanc. Comme par exemple euh, le chablis. Le chablis. Euh, ou bien un verre de Sancerre. Un verre de Sancerre. Oui, un verre de Sancerre, c'est délicieux, délicieux. All right, I think Mark's getting a wee bit carried away. Yeah, maybe we better get back to learning about these drinks and indeed learning how to ask for them because so far we've just learned the words. And yes, of course, you could say un verre de Sancerre, s'il vous plaît, or un, une bière, s'il vous plaît. But it would be nice to add in something else and you could actually say I would like a beer or I would like a coffee. To say I would like in French, you use the phrase je voudrais. Je voudrais. Je voudrais. Je voudrais. Je voudrais un jus d'orange, s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais un jus d'orange, s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Je voudrais de l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Okay, now that's, that's one way of saying it. Equally, you could say, for me, if you're ordering drinks, for me, a glass of orange, for my friend, a beer, and so on. So, pour moi. Pour moi. Pour moi. Pour moi. For me. Pour moi, un verre de vin. Pour moi, un verre de vin. And how would you say, for... My father, let's say. Pour mon père. Okay, mon père, that was right. Just watch pour. Pour. Not pur, okay. Pour mon père. Pour mon père. For my father. Pour ma mère. Pour ma mère. What would that be? For my mother. For my mother. What about pour mon ami? Pour mon ami. So, have we already done that? Um, I can't honestly remember. Pour mon ami means for my friend. An ami is a friend. Pour mon ami. Pour mon ami. And that one sounds the same whether you're talking about a male friend or a female friend. Pour mon ami. Pour mon ami. Okay. Now, the one thing that we've not said in the whole of this lesson so far is what the waiter would actually say to you. This depends where you are and so on, but the chances are they might say something like, Vous désirez? Vous dé désirez? You desire? What do you desire? Or they might just say, Oui? Oui? Just, yes? <laughs> what do you want? So, Anna, you're going to order some drinks here, okay? You're going to order for yourself uh, an orange juice and for your friend a beer. Okay? okay? So I'll be the waiter, and that's what you've got to order. Bonjour, vous désirez? Bonjour, je voudrais un jus d'orange et pour mon ami, une bière, s'il vous plaît. Très bien. Very good. Okay, let's try this again. And this time you are going to ask for a coffee for yourself, a tea with milk for your mother, uh, pineapple juice for your father and a glass of wine for your sister. Okay. Do you remember all that? I think so. Okay. What am I having? You're having a coffee. Okay. Alors, bonjour. Uh, vous désirez? Uh, bonjour. Uh, pour moi, uh, un café, s'il vous plaît. Uh, pour ma mère, un thé au lait. Et pour mon père, un jus d'orange. Et pour ma sœur, un verre de vin, s'il vous plaît. Euh, de, de, un verre de vin blanc ou de vin rouge euh, De vin blanc, s'il vous plaît. Très bien. Donc, pour vous, un café. Pour votre mère, un thé au lait Oui. Pour votre père, un jus d'orange Oui. Et pour votre sœur un verre de vin blanc. 
Oui. Très bien. Très bien. One slight wee thing there. You asked for an orange juice for your dad and he's actually, I think, wanting a pineapple juice, but I'm sure he won't mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, that's been quite a long lesson today. Um, there's been quite a lot in it, a lot of vocabulary there, and it's the kind of thing that you just need to practice and need to get used to. But really try using these je voudrais pour moi, pour mon ami, pour mon père, pour ma mère, and so on. We'll be coming back to this topic next time. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break French. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break French community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakfrench and we're at Learn French on Twitter. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.